Look, look, I don't want to be too cynical here. I'm out driving Uber Eats, maybe Grubhub, but it's a Monday. It is 7.43 p.m. here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now, the weather's nice, but I don't think I'm going to make a lot of money. And I'm also online with Spark. I looked at Shipped. I had a point pickup, but that disappeared. So I'm going to just go for like an hour or so. But let's see what happens and how important bonus pay is. Because let me know down below. I have not seen Surge. In, I, I don't even know what Surge is anymore. I, have, I don't even know how to define Surge because I haven't seen it here in Pittsburgh in like mm, eight months. Maybe that long. So uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be too good. Hey, so let me ask you, is this a tough decision or no? Because if you think it's going to be dead slow and you get this order, $4.37 for 1.4 miles quoted for 20 minutes for a place that I'm literally sitting right next to this five guys here. I mean, the dollars to mile ratio, how much am I getting paid for the miles driven? Technically, it's okay, but I don't even want to get out of the car for like <laughs> for like at least six dollars ideally seven dollars minimum so yeah it's 1.4 miles it's down the road quoted for 20 minutes which means i might have to wait in there for a little bit because it's going to take me no time to get to the customer is that a tough decision knowing that you think it's going to be slow would you take that or mm, kind of like me is it an automatic decline i don't care because the minimum cash flow is not enough. Now listen, I know you're trying to make money out there and we need to address temptation and seemingly high dollar orders. Look at this. I just got this $18.37 for 2.85 miles on point pickup at what? A giant eagle, I assume. It's an insane dollars to mile ratio, 18.35 for 2.85 miles. But you have to remember the commuting miles. Monroeville, it would take me at least, oh, 25 minutes to get out there. Even though it's an insane dollars to mile, unless you're out there, it's gonna take longer than you think. It's, I would, here's the deal. I would not drive more than five to seven minutes, ideally, and I've said this before, to a commute to a pickup. Ideally, one to three minutes. Five to seven minutes, and it's decent. This is a, like 20 some minutes away. The dollars to mile ratio, it's not really that dollars to mile ratio because of those community miles. Okay, there we go. I waited a little bit, not too long, so I'm not too worried about that. $9.21 at a Jersey Mike's right next door, which is ideal. 17 minutes, 2.1 miles, so that's a good dollars to mile ratio. And it's ending in another busy area, so that one I'll take. All right, here's our current status. There's our, <laughs> there's our amount before the tip. I mean, it was ready, which is nice, but now we're just sitting here and I'm online with the other apps. So yes, we are online, just waiting, folks. Okay, after a decent amount of waiting, do I love this location? No, the parking parking is tough around here. It's super busy, but it's a good order. I gotta take this order. I mean, come on, $9.11, 2.7 miles, 16 minutes, and it's right across the bridge. That's fine. I'll just hop back here to get into this zone after. All right. So wish me luck on the parking. And I guarantee this place is going to be swamped. But hopefully I get lucky. So I'll see you in a bit. All right. Well, I would have liked one more. We're losing the light here. Um, I'm online with just about everything I can. I feel like... Let me know if this is right. This hunch. But for me... like This, this comes down to market expertise, okay? That... I looked at Walmart Spark, for instance, all night tonight, and there's been nothing. And usually there's at least something, let alone like one, two, four, and then they start dumping on orders for Spark. So if one of your go-to, well, not even a go-to app, any of your apps, if they're like super slow, just not acting like their normal trend, that's an indicator for other apps. There's usually something on Spark and... I knew it. I mean, it's Monday again. It's 9, uh, 17 p.m. now. And I might get something else trickle in. But even Uber Eats being online and just waiting and nothing's coming through, let alone surge pay. There's no surge pay. That's a big indicator. So my takeaway for you is just think about that when you're driving. When are you driving? What apps are you driving? Can you multi-app? You should be. Can you multi-niche? You should be. Because 
I don't want you to waste your time. And then think about at home side hustles as well. Like, hey, if these apps are dead, can I do surveys? Can I work on my business? Can I set up my Shopify store? Whatever it is. Can I start those channels or start optimizing or film content for my socials if I want to monetize on socials? Because that is the name of the game. I'm telling you in the gig economy. Now it's a little different if you're trying to build a business, but if you're just looking at different side hustles, you gotta adapt because you only have so much free time. I guarantee those that don't multi-app and multi-niche, you're gonna be sitting here. I guarantee it. I've done this stuff for years, folks. You're gonna be sitting in these staging lots, these power strips, wherever. You might even shuffle around fine, but there's gonna be times where we're sitting doing nothing for 15, 20, 45 minutes. So I just wanna make sure you use the best use of your time.